Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on how to evaluate algebraic expressions. So for the first page, you're going to follow along with me and take some notes. And then there'll be some problems for you to try. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so what does, exactly does it mean to evaluate? Okay, well, in math, the term evaluate means to calculate the value of. So let's write that in. To calculate... the value of all right so the most important thing to remember when you evaluate expressions okay is you always 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 must follow the order of operations so let's write that down in this box so order of operations that's a must so let's write down PEM dots So again, PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, and then addition and subtraction. And just a reminder, you always work from left to right. So let's take a look at the first example. So it says evaluate the expression of C plus A times B when C is 5, A is 3, and B is 2. Okay? So this is a pretty basic problem, but let me show you kind of the proper method of doing this. So the first thing you always want to do is you want to replace the variables with the numerical values. So we know C is 5, so it's going to be 5 plus, well, A is 3 times B is 2. And now we just follow the order of operations. So we have addition and multiplication, so we're going to multiply. So 3 times 2 is 6. And then 6 plus 5 will be our last step, which gives us an answer of 11. And there, there it is. Let's take a look at the second problem. Here we have in parentheses E times G and then divided by C minus B in parentheses. So again, same step as before. First thing we do is we plug in the values for each variable. So here we know E is a 10. So it's gonna be 10 times G is five divided by C is 25 and then minus B, which is a negative five. So we're subtracting a negative five. Now, it's going to be tempting every once in a while to not do the step, okay? But as you get into more advanced problems, you're going to really need to, to show all the work uh, to be accurate. So now, order of operations. Let's worry about the parentheses. So 10 times 5 is 50. So it's 50. Now, divided by 25. And then minus a negative 5. And 50 divided by 25 is 2 and two minus a negative five. Well, when you subtract a negative, it's the same as adding, right? So I'm gonna make these pluses, and two plus five equals seven. All right, so remember, the term evaluate means to calculate the value of, and when you evaluate expressions, you always want to make sure you follow the order of operations. All right, so when you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems. So we have two expressions, and we know that for both of these, a is four, b is negative five, c is eight, and d is six. So the first one is just a plus b plus c plus d. So let me replace the variables now with the um, numerical values. So a is four, so it's gonna be four, plus b is negative five, c is eight, and then finally d is six. So now it doesn't matter to simplifying this. So four and negative five is negative one. So negative one plus eight plus six. And then negative one plus eight is seven. And then seven plus six gives us our answer of 13. The second one we have is a times b plus c times d. And again, really important that we first write down the values here. So a is four. So it's gonna be four times b is negative five. I'll write that in parentheses plus C is eight times D, which is six. So now we need to use order operations, so we're gonna multiply first. So four times negative five is negative 20. So negative 20 plus eight times six. Now we need to multiply again. So eight times six is 48. 
So that's gonna be 48 plus negative 20. And negative 20 plus 48 will give me an answer of 28. And there is our final answer. All right, how'd you do?